Hello everyone, I'm Andy Lowe from NHL Draft Central and today we'll take a quick look at my notes on 2021 NHL Draft eligible and overager Miguel Torini. In a 4-3 overtime defeat against Quebec, the 5'8 right-handed defenseman finished the game with 3 goals, a plus-minus of 2 and 6 shots on net. Right off the blocks, Tourigny imposes his offensive-minded style of game by making a well-timed but very risky pinch on the outlet pass. He is able to create the turnover and immediately gets to the net as a passing option or to collect the rebound. His partner misses the net and the play is directed to the other side. Here, as Tourigny watches the puck battle unfold, he stays close to the action. Once the attacker gains control of the puck, he makes an excellent slide to cut the passing lane to the slot slash crease. It didn't really matter here, but I would have liked to see him keep an eye on his men as the play developed, as it could have been important information. He stayed very focused on the puck here. As his team recovers the puck through the scramble, Tourigny storms through neutral zone to get on the counter-attack. His great momentum allows him to get around the defenseman and crash the net with a slick move. His attempt to slip the puck 5-0 is unsuccessful, but just being able to get on the partial breakaway is a great display of his outstanding offensive instincts and top speed. On this defensive face-off, there's a bit of a missed communication between Tourigny and his defensive partner. Once the play moves to the point, the right-handed blue liner looks to apply pressure on the attacker there, but his defensive partner stays on the same side as him, leaving an open end to the slot. On this 1v1 rush situation, Tourigny's gap control is fine, within reach of the puck already. His opponent tries to place the puck behind to beat him on the foot race, but Tourigny turns and pushes the disc away from the action. If defensemen are often taught to play their man rather than the puck, I think this is a reasonable play by Tourigny, who felt very comfortable to be able to puck the puck away before the attacker could even enter the battle. He finishes the action by leading the breakout with a simple pass ahead. Blainville Boisbriand gets on the power play here, and Tourigny showcases excellent puck distribution throughout the action. Nothing incredible, but he's very composed, quarterbacking the offense. Same man advantage, Tourigny flashes his tremendous slap shot from the point. He's extremely quick to release it, and it's ultimately a very powerful shot. On this offensive face-off, Tourigny jumps on the puck right away, and from the low circle, sees an opening over the goaltender's left shoulder. He tries his luck with a vicious wrist shot, top shelf. Impressive accuracy to open the scoring for his team. Tourigny recovers the puck in his own end in the early second period and looks to lead the breakout. He passes the puck ahead to his winger and follows the action. Tourigny is always very active in transition, looking to get himself in the action and pick apart open space. A good quick exhibit of his offensive oriented mindset. Nothing can really develop here though and he backs off to his position. On this quick counter attack, Tourigny is nonchalant with his pivot and ends up giving up a ton of space to his attacker on his own entry. Then, the drop pass gives all the space the attacker wants to deliver a shot. Nevertheless, Tourigny is quick to put a stick in the lane and gets a bit lucky the puck ends up deviating on his stick. This could have been a much more dangerous mistake if the shot would have connected and created a rebound in front for the crashing forward. Here, Tourigny needs to cover up for his defensive partner. He does a great job of closing out on his open end by giving the outside lane instead of the middle ice, but I would have liked to see him get even closer, forcing his hand and not giving the quick inside shot. On this zone entry, Tourigny probably gives a bit too much space for the attacker to enter the zone, but as his rival tries a dig and the puck slips between his legs, he stays right with him and doesn't allow the recovery. A similar play to last period, but with this time, Tourigny playing his man rather than poking the puck, which was the right decision in this situation. He didn't have vision of the puck and his attacker was too close to him. Here, you can see Tourigny's eagerness to get back on offense. Before his team can even gain control of the puck, he needs to refrain himself from just bursting to the neutral zone. Once the puck is secured, he immediately gets on the zone exit and claims the loose puck at the blue line. 
he then fires a quick shot wide on his own entry. On this cycle, Torini sends a puck along the boards that gets intercepted by his opponent, which starts a foot race between the two. The rear guard explodes the first few steps, allow him to stay in front and arrive first on the disc. He restarts the attack immediately. Although focused on the offense, Tourigny always puts a ton of efforts to recover from his mistakes. On the main advantage, Tourigny gets the puck at the point and heads up, find his teammate near the crease. He sends a quick low shot that gets deviated in front. A great scoring chance that was the result of Tourigny's excellent vision and awareness. Early in the third period, Tourigny gets penalized for interference. Quebec ends up scoring on the power play. On the main advantage, Torini tries to connect with his partner, but sends an inaccurate backhander that gets picked off. He positions himself well, cutting the passing lane, but is still there to contest the shot if necessary. He puts his stick on the ice at the right moment, intercepting the puck. Like every play, he then transforms his defensive effort into a smooth breakout and outlet pass. At the end of the power play, we can catch Torini being very active looking to get into dangerous spots and passing lanes. He finally ends up jumping to the slot where he scores on reception from a beautiful feed. A great display of his instincts and mobility to equalize the hockey game. Tourigny showcases his tremendous offensive instincts in this neutral zone action, jumping on the attack as soon as his team gets the puck. He enters the offensive zone with speed, but a well-timed poke check from the defender neutralizes him. With the puck still stuck along the boards, he stays deep in the offensive zone, and this pays off. His teammate recovers the puck as Tourigny is still behind the defense line, with an open passing lane too. Somehow though, his ally doesn't send him the puck immediately and he gets rocked. You'll see Tourigny take a lot of risk, but it seems very instinctive for him and more often than not ends up cost effective. On the power play once again. Tourigny moves the offense well and sends a low shot on net to create traffic. The rebound behind the net almost tricks the goaltender. On this transition, Tourigny uses quick crossovers to gain momentum in his own zone. He gets into the skating lane, but once he sees pressure, he drastically stops to cut away from his opponent. He consequently loses a lot of his speed and enemies get to his puck much more easily. In his change of direction, Tourigny should have kept his legs under his hips rather than widen his stance in an A shape. This would have allowed him to explode of the quick crossovers and keep his momentum rather than slow down his movement. Taking a quick look at McDavid, we can see him doing exactly that. Legs under his hips allows him to change direction briskly without losing speed. Here's another play that exhibits Tourigny's aggressiveness and anticipation on the counter-attack. As soon as he reads the puck going to his winger, he jumps in the skating lane and brings his puck up the ice. Not much happens in transition, but I'm more focused on his quick decision making at the beginning of that play. Defending on the zone entry, Torigny reads his winger following the left side opponent and decides to apply pressure to the puck carrier. Unfortunately, there's a lack of communication and both he and his partner go for the puck leaving number 14 alone on the entry. Tourigny flashes his very quick crossovers to put the extra effort and come back to challenge the shot. This was a beautiful chop to disrupt completely this coming chance. On the rush defense once again, Tourigny does a great job of forcing his rival off the wing, but he can't adapt to his speed and is left behind as he cuts to the net. In the late third, Tourigny sees his quick shot from the point blocked and his opponent explodes for the potential breakaway. He fights through neutral zone with great stick work and ends up turning the jet to catch up with the attacker on the breakaway. Beautiful stick lift to completely neutralize the action. In overtime, Tourigny sees a skating lane open up and shows off his superb top end speed to beat his opponent on the foot race and crash the net for the game winning goal. A fantastic effort and a beautiful tally. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.